you're kind of keyed up and wondering why because we've never had any problems here it's always been very quiet gunshots erupting during a high school graduation party in north st paul neighbors saying that they were startled awake and that the area is typically pretty quiet evidence of the shooting is still scattered at the scene there including gun casings and broken glass four people in all were hospitalized overnight as a result of that shooting and our bab santos spoke to witnesses who were at the gathering about what happened this shell casing shot out car window and the bullet hole left in the hood of this Volkswagen tell a story for North St. Paul police who were back at Casey Lake Park on Sunday morning after gunfire ruined a graduation party Saturday night. We were actually locked in here till like one in the morning. They told us you cannot leave. It's a crime scene now. They did not let us leave. Around 1045 Saturday night, this event center was emptying out after a party to celebrate Adila Sal Sr. Her father, who asked to remain anonymous, says just outside the doors, another party had brought about 100 people to the area when suddenly shots were fired and his family hit the deck inside the building. Very scared, heard the gunshots. I'm trying to go back and forth, trying to protect the doors. It got loud for about three to five minutes, nonstop. Shots all over the place. Neighbors say they heard anywhere from 30 to 60 shots fired, what they believe was automatic gunfire. And even a day later, the remnants are still scattered all over this parking lot. It was really fast, you know, bang, 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 you know quick like that. It sounded like fireworks, which they've done before down there. So I got up and I looked and I, I didn't see anything in the air. So I knew it was gunfire. Aside from hospitalizing four people, this gunfire peppered the side of this building and woke up Marianne Hammer in her home across the street. All you could see was lights flashing everywhere. I saw the red car speed out of the parking lot. I saw people running um, through the park and down the path behind. Authorities haven't said how seriously injured those four people were. We reached out today to see if any arrests were made, but have yet to hear back. Live in the newsroom, Bab Santos, Fox 9. All right, thank you, Babs.